Hello YouTube watchers. And here we have a Homestead Win 2 in chrome with gloss black and blades. The motor is new in box from Perry's collection. The chrome's in very, very good shape. The blades I got from another collector. They're decent, they could be better, but uh, I'm happy with them. So this is the second one too I own. The other one I own is just like this except for instead of chrome, it's black chrome. I feel the chrome is actually harder to find on these fans. So either way, let's go ahead and put it through its paces. High, medium, low. It's a 52 inch fan made by Homestead. Um, I really like these fans. I've come across, I think, every coloration of these things, including the granite, which I sold. I didn't care for the granite. Um, I've definitely liked the black chrome. I wanted to get the chrome, and I finally got around to getting it. And today I'm finally testing it. It's been in the garage here for a while now. So it's low. Let's go ahead and go to medium. The fan is very well balanced, and it runs very well, and it's quiet. Not surprising, it's a new in-box fan. If I'm correct, I think Perry's collection still has one more gunmetal one motor, and I think there's a few brass just sitting around. Let's go ahead and go to high. Brass is the most common for these fans. I think there's also a white one still there. I'm not sure. I think I got rid of that. I think I sold it to Cole. Um, but either way, there's high speed, and as you can see, at this speed, there's a whole lot of air. Yeah, it's a super, super nice looking fan. I'm a sucker for button chrome, so definitely one I'll be keeping. The full chain, motor bottom. You can see the motor bottom is basically a freaking mirror. That's nice. But yeah, definitely like the fan. So definitely gonna keep it just like the black and chrome one I kept. Go ahead and just spin down. Very cool. Now you're probably wondering why did I get the other gunmetal homestead too? Uh, went too. I would get it, but there's no more black blades. All reason I got this one is because I knew I had a black set of black blades coming in the mail. Um, besides that, I think all we got left over there is wood grain. I think it might be a set of white blades, and I don't want to do gunmetal with white. That just sounds weird. Um, I might try and I might get it and just do it as gunmetal with wood grain. Um, I might sell it like that. I'm, I'm not sure if anyone's interested in that, but. Yeah, this is definitely a nice fan. I'm just thinking I put it back in its packaging and keep it. I'll probably keep it the same way I've got the black and chrome one. So, which means I gotta find a place for this. Gotta find a place for this and the Emerson pedal actually. Both of those are gonna be going to my room right now. This fan doesn't need anything, obviously. It's new in box. Um, the blades could use a little bit of touch up here and there, but like I said, I'm not too worried about it. Spin down. I find these cool because of how the down rods go. I mean, it sucks because you can never actually um, do anything with the down rod because the down rod actually has a plug that plugs directly into the motor. Um, so it's kind of unusual, but it seems like a good system. It works well, but well, like I said, you have to extend the down rod to kind of screw it over there. But besides that, I mean, yeah. Like I said, this is the second one too I have. I actually like these fans. These fans are pretty good. Um, but I don't care for the brass. I don't care for the white. But granite, while it was cool, I just wasn't feeling it. And like I said, I definitely like the black chrome and the chrome. I think there's actually two different whites. I think there's a white and an antique white. Could be wrong. Before we go, we're going to do one more thing. We're going to turn it back on high. 
see what we draw on high. Don't think I ever did that on these. Point seven nine. Not bad. Not too much. Anyway, thanks for watching.